Shout out to everybody who clicked that motherfucking bell because everything is well. And if you haven't clicked that bell, you need to click it right motherfucking now. Ah! What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony Digital, bringing back another visual today, guys, on a great unboxing I've been waiting for for a minute now. These shoes have released, I think, they released last week. I copped them. They, like, dropped on a certain site at, like, 2... 3 a.m. in the morning, it was really weird. And I actually thought that this actual colorway was gonna actually sell out, I don't know why. I mean, I, sometimes I'm not on top of my game. Knowing how a release will do, sometimes I'm, I'm right. It's either or, you know what I'm saying? With this particular model, I thought they were gonna sell out. I thought the colorway was popping, but it didn't. So, it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and get into it and do a quick review. These are actually available now on the website and I will link these down below in the description where you can copy them. The retail is 160 and they're actually more than the model that they're like going after. And here we go. We got here the Harden, the James Harden Lifestyle Sneaker. Now this is the first time I ever owned a Harden in general. I always liked the basketball shoes, but the lifestyles that recently dropped, I was I just became in love with them. They're really similar to that of the basketball ones that retail for 140. These retail for 160. The basketball one, however, has that leather toe box where this one is all over prime net. Now this the colorway I actually got is called the Sweet Life, which is in a has no color codes on here. It's Harden Volume 1 LS Pink. LS PK Lifestyle Prime Knit. And this is in the pink colorway. I actually liked and dig this colorway a lot. One of the reasons why I got it, I was just waiting on that right model to drop for me to actually spend my money on these. And I can't lie, the sweet life, that pink, it just looks good. Pink Panther Pussy. You, you guys know the dealio, Pink Panther Pussy, all over on this sneaker. This is my second pink sneaker. First being that of the Just Dawn 2, but I had to add this into the collection. I'm a huge fan of Prime Knit and how it feels, and I just like it. I always liked it. I don't know what it is. These remind me a lot of the crazy explosive lows and the high, the material, like how the Prime Knit is, because there's different types of Prime Knit, you know what I'm saying? Like the feeling and the texture, but it has those same type of grooves that are on the crazy explosive. You got the boost all on the midsole, on the bottom, just a regular all white sole right there with the Harden H, as well as a Harden on the tongue. Laces are dope. Got that pink, you know, that pink and white, or like it's a pink, like a light pink speckles going throughout the whole shoelace. Let me just check out the other one, make sure there's any extra things I don't know about, maybe extra pair of laces, I, I don't know. No, okay, cool. First time seeing these was at SneakerCon, uh, I wanna say Dallas. Cousteau had a black pair on, and once I saw him, I was like, all right, yeah, it's time, it's time to go. And I was waiting for this particular model, that salmon kind of pink, to drop, and then that was gonna make me pull the trigger. Then I actually saw them, and I saw them drop online. I was quick, I didn't know. I thought these were gonna go off like quick hotcakes, but they're still available on the site. But overall, the shoe is dope. I have them in a size eight and a half, which I believe should fit pretty well, because I have eight and a half and the Crazy Explosive, and they fit pretty true to size. I like the shoe overall, though. It just looks good. The Harden one in general was a nice basketball sneaker. I just was not so much of a fan of the toe box being all leather. So once I heard that the whole toe box would be exposed with Prime Knit, it, it was just, you know, it was automatic. I was like, bam, you already know. Retailing at 160, a nice sneaker, definitely a comfortable sneaker. And I can say probably one of the best lifestyle sneakers that I've ever seen. And if you don't believe me, just think about it. What other... Lifestyle sneaker is good. I mean, LeBron's lifestyle sneakers is a no. KD's is a no. Kobe's, eh? I mean, I'm, I'm not a fan of really any of these lifestyle sneakers, but this one right here is actually dope. Let me know what you guys think about that, honestly. Is this probably one of the best lifestyle sneakers out there? Lifestyle sneakers is usually just, they don't make it. They don't make the cut. But Pink Panther Pussy all over this sneaker right here. I know, you know this is pussy popping on the handstand. Great colorway, great everything. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a quick on foot, man. Let's get to it. Yeah, man. I got the hypest kicks in the world. I'm not worried about these women looking at me. I just want the dudes to look at me because I got the $1,500 kicks on. Let's get it. You got no line at your booth. 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 Mine stacked to the roof. Crep protect on the shoes. Now you fucking with the crew. Click 
Felipe King Where's my ring? Hands in the air, six I think Gucci fit, you copy my shit Your girl is all on my dick All of a sudden, why is you frontin'? Fake supreme, boy you nothing I came in this game, boy Now I'm just fuckin' stuntin' And my shoes stacked up to the motherfuckin' ceiling And you tryna get these subs But you all up in your feelings And you tryna fuck with us But we the fuckin' crew And I see you in my merch But we don't fuck with you You got no line at your booth 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 You got no line These niggas is wasting time Crazy kicks for six seconds of fame This ain't no fucking vine You press your prime press all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this new, you know, standing type of setup, let me know. I like to switch it up every once in a while. I don't like you guys to seeing the same type of thumbnails and, and shots when you do these videos. I want to switch it up every once in a while when I can. So you guys' comments and feedback is the most important thing to me that helps make this channel grow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vid. Hit that like, comment down below, and subscribe. Next week, we have a lot of stuff in store. I got the top 10 August releases dropping. I'm gonna be copying, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, every week I'm gonna be making sure to drop, you know, discussion videos on upcoming releases, get you guys in tune, and just get myself more in tune. I'm not gonna lie, I love the work that Cousteau Jacques Slay does in his, this week's and sneaks, and I wanna do one of my own where I'm able to give you guys my input and sneaker news updates on this channel. So if you guys enjoy that and like that type of stuff, feel free to comment down below and let me know you want to see that or not or just anything i could do differently or add to it so i love to hear you guys thoughts in the pants i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like comment down below and subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys on the next video it's your boy tony d2 wild checking in checking out peace Shout out. No, we just joking, man. This is all just fun and games. We're in the studio. It's like 3 a.m. But shout out to Mo Beats on there. And, um, you know, it's for fun, like I said. But if anybody want to clap back, we coming 10 times harder. Dream Crew, 07.